Anthony Ferraro and Mancina, two blind guys, collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Hey! You again? Bad Eyes! I'm sitting, uh, I'm sitting face to face with uh, Newfoundland here. What? Uh, we're, we're blind and we're here, so get used to it. Is, is that a seeing eye dog? No, he's just a dummy. He's just a dummy. Are you so dumb? Yeah, he's a dummy. Oh, you good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, just sitting here. He's chilling, dude. We're uh. Is he sitting on I your got lap? Nothing. I got nothing for us today, dude. Nothing. We got a, I got a little nugget, actually. I got one thing. I got some stuff I could throw in you. You got some stuff you can throw at me? Yeah. See if I can dodge it. <laughs> Don't throw. Oh, Kelly's the producer's in the building. What'd you say? We're in the middle of recording. Oh, well, I was just giving you an update. Update, update time, update time. It'd be a lot of money in flights there, champ. And if I use our points, then we Florida, points. Points. Oh, man. Buckaroo. Um, it'd be like... To what? $2,000. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Well, you waited too long. You know what? What do you drive it then, dude? What, what what are you guys looking at, Delta? No, United. Flights are insane, dude. Dude, why are they so just, much? Oh, apparently yesterday just they stopped all flights. Uh they grounded all flights or something and What? Yesterday they grounded all my cousin was telling me this. They grounded no all way. flights till like nine in the morning or something. What happened? I don't know. But you know the last time they have they did something like that was nine eleven. Yeah, all flights were grounded. Yes, this happened yesterday. Yes, I gotta look this up. Yeah, you should. What happened to uh, what's his name? Our guy, dude. Tommy. Tommy? No, our Googler. Yeah, Tommy. He's in Vermont Tommy. right now. Tommy? That, that's, yeah. that does not sound right. It's Tommy. What's his last name? Tommy Dat. Uh, hmm. He doesn't seem like a Tommy, does he? He doesn't seem like a Tom. He's more like a uh a Todd. Maybe an Alex. He's like an Alex. An Alex. <laughs> maybe an Alex. Really maybe an Alec. Uh, I don't know. Alec. Alec is a unique. I only I've only known one Alec in my life. Oh. Uh, Alec Beck, good man, works for uh Tony Hawk Foundation. I know a bunch which of Which is Alec. now the skate park project. Great skateboarder. A name. Hell of a skater. Um, um, yeah, so. Flights. How many? What's the points? How many points? 20 freaking it, thousand it'd points? It'd be way too many points. No, it'd be more than that. That's like, that's how much the flights were to Portugal, basically. No, 20, 20 it'd be, if it's 2,000, it'd be right around 20,000 points. would be high end. Let's see. It's, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> um. That's, That's intense, though. There must have been some terrorist action going on. What the heck? Every flight's grounded. You mean in the U.S. or in every the U.S.? Wait, I don't know. I gotta get. Must have just been I gotta US get a Googler, or Googler on this, but I think it's I the U.S. I feel like I would have heard of that happening. Was um, this last night? Yeah, Kelly said she like opened her computer and saw it too, right after my cousin was telling us. Oh snap! I need to look this up. Speaking That's of my scary. cousin, big shout out to my cousin. He came over yesterday. Just got his uh passed his plumber test. And oh, uh he's a tradesman. I was I was like, So can you just fix like water pressure? Like can you just make it stronger? And he's like, Yeah, what do you got? And he looked at my shower and made the water pressure stronger by tinkering with something. Ooh. I that's know. Nice, I was dude. like, Yeah, it was a big change. Maybe I'll start oh. showering. <laughs> what do you usually bathe? No, I just you just mean you don't shower at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. A little water pressure. Yeah, I want to freaking rip the paint off my skin with some water pressure. You know what I mean? Oh, I love it. Kelly's parents, their water pressure is like, whew, it's, it'll, is it? It'll take Mint? your skin right off. It'll, if, it could it, make it, for elephants. It'll in the give zoo, you, huh? yeah, it'll give you leprosy. For sure. Oh, leprosy. It'll rip the moles right off. It'll shave your skin for you. Yeah, it'll get rid um, of your bunions. Um, see, so that's what I, I like. Mine's yeah. not too strong. Although downstairs, I have a shower downstairs and upstairs. The one downstairs is a little bit better. 
It doubts so strong. But we're on a well, so, though, so it's like pumped in. So I feel like that might have something to do with it. I don't know. Yeah, so airports are pausing. I'm world's ending. We're still blind. What do you got for me? Um, What do I have, dude? Oh, I had the fire department come to the restaurant. Fire. No. Fire at the restaurant. This no. Happened whoop, after, whoop. Um, like, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Fire trucks came up. Firemen <laughs> were... Uh, well, they were kind of taking their time when they got there. They were just like, they, oh, well, hang on. So this is after the uh, skate event last Saturday. We all went out to dinner and we went like, this was late. Um, I mean, late for restaurants. So it was probably like at least 10 o'clock. So we're like the last people in the restaurant. And of course, it's a big, love big being group. Love last. Big group. I hate being last. I love it. I feel like it. a piece of shit. They're nope. trying to get out of there. These people are trying to leave. You got the restaurant to yourself. Yeah, but I used to work at a restaurant and that's no, no especially yeah. a big group. Is there 14 of us? No bueno. Not a not a good move when you gotta come in there and, and disrupt. But the waitress was You just gotta leave a good tip. She, she wasn't uh, of course. She wasn't um she wasn't bummed. You know, some waitresses or waiters would be like super over it and be real short with you, but she was on point, dude. That's what's up. She even did we were mid dinner, she everyone gets their meal. She's like, okay. Uh-uh. Real quick, guys, everyone stop for a second. Uh, can I get five minutes of your time? Um, I want to, I have a uh, opportunity for you guys. <laughs> we all kind of, what? And then she just started laughing. So she got us. That was pretty funny. <laughs> what? Which she said, she's like, I like time, uh, uh, what's it called? Not a pyramid scheme, not a time uh, piece, but a, uh, what's that called? Everyone goes in on a, a spiel. Oh, a timeshare? Timeshare. The timeshare. Timeshare. That's well, it. We can she's like, hey, I got a time. Any time minute time. She's like, I want to share this opportunity for a timeshare for you guys. Everyone's like, what? She's like, I'm just kidding, guys. I just want to step <laughs> on for a second. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Timeshares. Oh, what a scam. Scam shares. She was cool. She was one of the, uh, she was a waitress who, it's a waitress and waiter, right? Some people just call, whether it's a female or male, a waiter. But a waitress I've is heard female, that too. Right? Yeah, waitress is female. But I've also yeah. heard a male call assume. himself a waitress. Waitress. Hmm. But it's it should be waiters a male and waitress is a is a female. But now you can't gender anything. Yeah, I wonder if that is a well. You want to be gender specific nowadays, so I feel yeah. like people might get. Or is it wait x? <sighs> should you say wait x? Or if you're just a wait z or wait z? Yeah, wait o. <laughs> oh. um, well, I know. Yeah, it's a good question, but yeah. it kind of peeves me when people just say waiter when it's a female. Because yeah, they don't call a wine of a female wino a wina. Winus. Is that a thing? A wino? Is that a thing? Yeah, like an alcoholic. Somebody wine. really likes wine? Oh yeah. yeah. Wino. Wine B. Wine's. Wine C. Um Wine E. Wine O. Wine O. Hmm, whiny. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Um but she's one of this waitress one of these waitresses, waiters who waitresses. Waitress, waitresses. When she would come up to me, because she knew I was blind, so she'd like shoulder hand on the back and like, here's your drink, I'll put it on your here's the drink, it's right in front of you. And she like set it right oh, in front. Oh, that's of you. on point. Yeah. When Which they're is like good, but I hate when they always say it's right in front of you, but it's never right in front of you. Well, see, I'll get the in front of your right, like in front of your your silverware yeah. on the right side. I'll get really precise ones, and that's that's good. Yeah, they'll, yeah. or they'll say like twelve one two o'clock. And that's really that's good. really, really that's precise proper. too. And then they'll. I've had some really. It is good. I never think about that. It is really nice when you get the descriptive waiter or waitress, uh-huh. and they'll tell Same. you like I've even got like uh, the steaks on the left, the <laughs> blah blah blahs on the right. You know what yeah. I mean? And that that's huge. Uh, good service to me goes a very long way. I, I I think it comes from I worked at like one of my. F- my first major jobs, I guess, as opposed to like McDonald's was at the surf shop. And they were like all about customer service, like on point. You know what I mean? So it made me really, really appreciate it. So whenever, now, whenever I go into some place and if, if people are, whether it be retail or anything, 
if people aren't on it and like asking you and making sure you're okay, it really, I hate it. It drives me nuts, dude. Yeah. I love to ask, but I don't like the bother. I don't yeah, like so when it's they. A, it's a balance. It is a, a balance, balance because you can get the people that are on top of you that makes you feel pressured, and then you're like, I don't want to do this. Would you rather have balance or nothing, though? I'm sorry. Would you rather have over? That's a good over, question. I would go over for sure. You know, if I'm by myself, over. If I'm alone, if I'm with someone, alone for sure. Yeah. I just hate because I'll find them and ask if I really need to know. But I hate when nowadays there's nobody freaking working. I hate looking for somebody and there's nobody anywhere. I I I hate when they uh when they sound annoyed when you when you ask though. Tone, tone, yeah, tone is everything to me. And they're in inflection, reflection, inflection. Inflection. Yeah, very important. Yeah, when they just like come up to you. Are you guys doing all right? Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I I don't want to bother. let me know if you need anything. Well, I did want to find this, but I don't want to bother you with something. It sounds I like want to hear, hey, how you guys doing? Let me know. Maybe I'll be right over here. Yeah. You know? There's, sa- sell there's sales dudes. stuff over there if you want. But- sell me it, dude. Yeah. Sell me something. You know what I hate? I I hate at the airport lounge when they're like, uh, when you're going in and you got the membership to the lounge, right? But you're going uh, in and they ask you, oh, are you one? Are you purchasing a pass? Because they don't think you could like be in the lounge. Mm. That's what I get from it. I'm like, you think that's what it is? Because yeah, sometimes when I'm dressed up nice, they don't even ask me twice. Maybe that's but, like their way of yeah checking. You know, yeah, like, yeah I'm already in. Yeah, that's their kind of way of scanning. Yeah. No, but the the help. You're right. The help is is there's little help these days. You gotta be, but um, yeah, she was uh she was great though. She was on point. But then we're we're all about to leave. We had just paid the bill and she comes out and she's like, uh, there's a, she's like, everything good. She's like, yep, here's bill. She's like, there's actually a, uh, grease fire going on in the kitchen right now. Like oh. I said, it really mellow. We're like, huh? What? She's like, yeah, if you guys want to head out, that's fine. Yeah. There's a little fire going on. We're like, seriously? She's like, yeah, yeah. So we all kind of get up and leave and we're all leaving, taking our time. But my stepdad and, uh, Heather, my fiance, they went back in. He's like, I gotta go pee. I was like, you guys are going back in, dude. I'm getting out of here before this place blows up. So we go outside and we're like, maybe they must not have been serious. And then sure enough, you hear <laughs> fire truck comes pulling oh, up. No. And they get out on the truck. They're taking their time. They're just putting their pants on. Yeah, they do that. Heather and Brian came out by the time they were got inside. I'm like, are these guys not in a rush? Wouldn't you think? You think firefighter pulling up to a, a scene, grease fire, they're going to be running out of that truck with a freaking Dalmatian around their shoulder and a hose in their other hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't doing anything. Slap a hat on that dog. On. They were sending to tweet and text him and just <laughs> dilly dallying, putting their overalls on. Yeah, they were tweeting, getting ready to go fight this grease fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but, no. And then they just kind of nonchalantly like, walk by. How you guys doing? Oh, good, good. Yeah, they still have time to acknowledge you. And then the staff came out, the guy at the kitchen, who's like, uh, who'd she say? She said something about his mom was working. So it was, a, it was a mother's son working at the restaurant, which I thought was interesting. Um, But he came out, and he's like, yeah, I was in the kitchen. There was just a little fire. We, we threw some... Uh, flower on it or something and something underneath the thing so it wasn't that serious i guess and then he's like wait oh this is funny he's like don't i think i i know you like, <laughs> your youtube name's uh uh D- dave 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 i was like dan dan my man 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 man, man see see- like, yeah, dan, man, dan. oh yeah i see you dude dude so the youtube cool. wreck you got recognized cool. I mean, by youtube see i think people just say youtube as like a no, general, no, internet. dude. People yes, have yes. their different it's a, platforms. It's a, it's some a general peop- internet thing. No, some people aren't even on social media, but they're on YouTube. It's like an old person says. I'm, the I'm telling you because my coach, who's older, he only watches yeah. me on YouTube. He's woke though. He's <laughs> <laughs> he might be woke. This is like a younger. I mean, yeah, maybe because I'm not. No one on YouTube at all. <laughs> Except maybe some other videos that dude, a like good red fire red bull love, from back in the day. I love an bar. adrenaline from a good fire scare. I, I was, yeah, was I was funny. playing a um, 
I was playing a gig one time, an electric gig with I had the whole band. And <laughs> it was me, my dad, a couple other guys. I put it together. We we're playing the bar and it's uh Christmas time, like around New Year's almost. Electric gig? What do yeah, you mean electric? Like electric guitar, uh like not acoustic guitar. So like electric oh, okay. guitar, full You're band, playing. like electric got- guitar, two guitars, we got a drum set, we got the piano the keyboard, we got the you trumpet, got amps, the speakers. bass yes, amps, speakers, PA system, everything. So it's like a live okay. show, you know? The place yeah. was packed. One of the most keyboard, packed shows of ever. Keyboard in there, you got a keyboard yeah. going. Oh yeah, we got the keyboard <laughs> tickling there, 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 the old there, ivories, there, there. Yeah, and yeah. um, and we had uh, it was packed to the gills. Like the they had to move the tables from the restaurant oh, area. Fire People, hazard, fire dude, hazard. So that we're playing and uh, we're playing, we're going in. Like it's it's we're in. It's like midnight or like eleven p.m. 11, 30, 12, and we are jamming. Like, it's going hard. Like, yeah. people are dancing. Pe- someone kicked my mic stand over, and they had to back them up. Like, it was becoming a scene. <laughs> like, it was uh, it was wild. And then all of a sudden, ee, 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 the fire alarm starts going oh. off. They start yelling fire. Everyone, everyone, uh, everyone piles out like goes out into the parking lot big parking See, so lot. this is in in a bar situation that can kind of be i feel like people are a little a little less like as soon as the fire alarm goes out they're probably for a second be like what's this is this really something going on here what's going on as opposed to like a uh a mellower setting yeah, where if the fire alarm goes off, people might be be running out the door. Or was it hectic? It was, was it pretty hectic, hectic cuz people were like, "Get the fuck out! There's a oh, fire!" Like okay. cuz there was a fire in the kitchen. So a little more hectic, was, I guess. Yeah, a little the, more cuz you got to get everyone out. And then yeah. The fire, we have to get out. We stop mid-song. We're like, hear this. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. so we, we all pause to hit mute, whatever. I'm like, I hope my... All the all the equipment's basically mine. Like, the PA stuff, every, thousands and thousands of dollars equipment. I'm like, I hope this stuff makes it, you know? And, like, yeah, just leave, run leave out. And like, it's midnight, whatever. All the... Uh, everyone's out front in the parking lot. The fire department comes. So they're already, like... They were already, like, there, I guess, when it was right as we started, like, dispersing because they the fire department's really close. Yeah. And they were like, and we were playing loud, dude. We were playing loud. <laughs> and the fire department was like, they go in, check everything. Everyone's like, what the fuck's going on? And the, the fire, uh, there's, like, two firefighters outside. And they're like, are you guys in the band? Dude, you guys are killing it. Get back in there right now. It's like everything's all good. <laughs> go. You guys get back in there and then we're gonna let everyone else in. Just start playing. <laughs> and we played the the, and then we played Roof's the song. Fire. Yeah, we played the song Fire on the Mountain by the Grateful Dead. Ah, there you go. Fire great. the Mountain, Run Boy, Run that one? No, no, it's it's just Fire oh. on the Mountain. Uh that's like the whole chorus. It's just fire on the mountain. Fire, fire on the mountain, that's all you say? Fire on the mountain. And then there's uh verses. Okay, but it's just fire it's, on the mountain. It's, it's great fire for on the mountain. <laughs> it's like fire, fire on the mountain. Oh, but that okay. was that was exciting. I remember that. That's good, dude. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's funny. Uh, it's a rush. Yeah, you always think about if I had a fire in my house, what I grab, what would I go for? Willie Nelson, you hear about this? He no, had a, he had a fire in his house. And just like uh, what's your name too? Uh, b- b- big, big, huge lady, country girl star Taylor Swift. I think she burned her house down. She didn't she? did. Or was that Miley? Maybe it was Miley Cyrus. Oof, maybe Miley. One um, of those two lost a house. It sounds like one of the two would do that. Um, well, but it wasn't their fault? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Miley Cyrus would burn. Uh, it down. <laughs> she's probably just singing in the house. Started. I think she was out of town or something. I don't know. But Willie was there. He had, he had, um, he had ran out. The house is literally up in flames. He lost the house. Yeah, the house is up. Uh, in did, flames. Did he fall asleep with a joint in his hand and just? I don't remember the story. It was some. I don't think it was like that though. It was like uh, something with like the gas or something. And ooh, scary. Yeah. Sketch. So and it was on like a farm. So he had his guitar, in he had two guitar cases up on the top floor. His guitar uh-huh. 
that he has till this day called Trigger. And then another guitar case filled with like five pounds of primo weed, he said. And he <laughs> ran back upstairs to get both uh, and got it. He said the house was like on fire, dude. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's good. People die doing that. Going in and then next thing you yeah. know, you can't go down the stairs. And my brother is a firefighter. He goes in fires almost every every day he works. Really? Yeah. He gets a lot of fires where he's at. Wow. Him, Tramick, they get crazy fires. And they actually fight him there. A lot of cities don't fight the fires. They'll just let them burn. You ever put they on have, the fire have, suit? Do, do you know they have different protocol in different cities? Wait, what do you mean? Some cities, if your house is on fire, the protocol is just protect the surrounding buildings. Not just protect let it burn. the house? Not let it- you just let it burn, yeah. Just make sure nothing else catches on fire outside of it. That's preposterous. As opposed to Hamtramck has the rule where you go in and you actually fight the fire. Try to put it out. I feel like that's what you should do. I feel like that's what the fire fighters are yeah, there for. it's to- good and bad. Because what I mean, if there's can- people trapped in the house? you got to fight the fire. Well, if there's people inside, you go inside. Yes, absolutely. They're still going and rescuing people. But and, um, and if you get to it quick enough, there will be let like there could be explosions. You know what I mean? Less damage. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're turning off the gas is number one thing, I believe. Um, I wouldn't even know how to do that. But it's like a, uh, you know, they figure in an affluent area, there's insurance. You just whatever, you just burn the house down. No one's less risk. You know what I mean? You're not. Yeah. Putting people's lives at risk to fight these fires, but, but um, yeah, he kills it. A great, a great tip, which I never thought about this. If you're on like a second story or even higher, to if your house is on fire and you can't go downstairs, the trick is to uh, hang from your windowsill. So you crawl out of the window, put your hands on the windowsill, and hang down. So you're an extra, you know five six feet lower wow because the smoke's going up what because the smoke's going up no as opposed to just jumping out of the window where it's an extra five feet of dropping oh lowering okay okay you lower yourself down so you're just your hands are you're dangling from your hands from the window so then you drop like that so you're you know yeah save yourself five feet from dropping I remember I used to have a little roof right outside my window at my parents' house, and I used to go out on that, and I'd be like, oh, just jump yeah. out there. We used to go on our, uh, no, not, the one at an A25 in California, we used to hang out up there. It was nice. My mom's house, now we go on the roof and jump in the pool, but yeah, my buddy, uh, <laughs> I told this story, my buddy Mike pooped on his roof. What? It's just as a gag. So you, his mother would look out the window and saw poop out there and was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if she ever found out. Oh. But she's like, there's animals somewhere. There's a big poop up there. She was like freaking out. He just, That's gnarly. Just, That's just disgusting. Dumb. I don't even know why, just because it's funny. We thought it's funny to look out the window and just see a turd sitting on the roof, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, poor, poor fires, mom, dude. Geez. What was that another fire thing? What was I going to say? Oh, my dad's cottage up north burned down one time. Ironically, and ironically enough, ironically, is that doesn't sound right. Ironically, yeah, yeah. that's uh, right. There were friends going to the cabin who were firefighters, and they burnt the cabin down. No way! Isn't that funny? Because he, he had a it's a wood burner wood burning stove, dude. Firefighter 101. Protocol is you go in and you get it started. You put it, get the fire started because it's freezing in there. Mm-hmm. So you get your fire started, then you go to the you go to the bar, get a drink, and you come back, and the cabin's nice and warm. But I think they like left the door cracked. I believe. Oh, we they, almost started it, a fire like that. To get that. it stoked, yeah. get it stoking, and uh, they they uh, they saw smoke from the you could, from the bar. You could kind of see. Uh, smoke and there it's like a mile away it's like oh, it looks like it's coming from the cottage <laughs> and sure enough burnt it down but it was the best thing that ever happened my dad he got a full remodel it was nice dude remodel yeah, yeah, yeah. dude it's fires man it's scary scary. It's scary i went to uh went to judo the other night and got a headache really bad 
that's what you're saying. No good. No yeah, blame. No you gotta relax. Man. You gotta know. take some real, real time. I don't off. know how to relax. I don't. You know, growing up, they even told you like in wrestling, it's oh, we're gonna go fifty percent live, fifty percent practice. I don't know how the fuck to do fifty percent. I only know a hundred. I only know how to go hard. I do. I well, only you gotta know. learn. You gotta take it easy. You're gonna die. I. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna have CTE by the time you're 30, dude. That's why I'm. That's why I pulled out of this tournament. That's why I was smart. Yeah, that's good. I freaking, that's smart. Take a good. I I, I, I I didn't do anything yesterday. I. I What's that noise? I, Do you hear that noise? I don't know what that. It might have been. Go cut. ahead. Sorry. I, yeah, you gotta take good two weeks. Week two weeks off of really doing nothing, dude. I've been getting anxiety, the headache. I just. Go for a walk. I dude. know. I, this morning I was losing my shit, like going down all these different roads in my head. Like, oh, you, you could have done it here. You could have, you could have yeah. fucking pulled it through there. You could have done this. You know, you, you couldn't have. You, you, you might not have been blind. You, you could have done this. You know, it's you should just, go. You should know. You should do. You should talk to a uh, therapist, dude. I, I think oh, I need yeah. some better help or something. Yeah, better help. <laughs> No, I, I do. Yeah, I well, actually, I texted my therapist that I used to go to, to oh, see if go. she's still around, and she is. But then I didn't follow go. through. I do the follow, follow through once a week, maybe. Yeah, maybe once every other something. Well, you, guys, I, you guys go see a psychic, you know? Go <laughs> cheap out. <laughs> I did. I just like, you know what the problem is? You know how I feel? Is every time I get close to something, I get hit back and it's really a frustrating feeling. Like I'll get so close. Like I'll take you back to the last Olympics real quick. Uh Tokyo. I was top 20 in the world. Um, I was two tournaments away from all I had to do was win like a match at each tournament. Right. And there was two tournaments left going to the Olympics. And I was, you know, after the whole pandemic, I got my shit together. I did it. I, I'm i practicing. I'm fighting really well. I'm in practice the day before we leave for Azerbaijan, and I fucking tear my groin, and I'm out for months, and I couldn't yeah. do anything about it. And it was, like, right there, you know? And then so I'm, like, mourning the loss of the, the Olympic journey, and then right when I think it's over, it's like, oh, we're going to um we're gonna use you as a – alternate so actually you're probably going to go to the olympics so i'm like Mm. so after morning the loss or whatever like getting over that just like oh i'll hype myself up back up for this you know i gotta get back up and Uh, then i find out they they put someone else in so then it was like boom 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 and then like even in high school i was like so close to going to states i was state like the state tournament and i was like I literally lost with like seconds left and it's like I always get so close, you know, and it's yeah, like like this last tournament, sometimes. this last tournament I was about to freaking I was winning. I was winning like 3 quarters of the match, half the match and then I was dominating then at the last yeah. like minute I get the and not even just a loss, I get a freaking concussion. And it's well, like that's the ah, that's the, that's the fuel. You and that I mean? guy ends up winning the tournament. It's like that's the fuel you gotta uh, use for next you time. You gotta sit in these lulls, though. The the sitting, the sitting is the worst part. The in betweens. Yep, you gotta take some time and relax, dude. Ah, uh, it's like. Well, think of it this way. That's all the past. You know, you gotta use it as your fuel. Yes, but that's in the past. But you're fighting better than you were before. Right. Yeah, but now I'm knocking myself back into one of these dumps, like in these depression it's not a dump. dumps. No one, dump. you're gonna get, you're gonna get hurt. People get hurt all the time doing judo, correct? Yeah, it's I, just like skateboarding. You get hurt. It's part. It's part of the sport. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not a. Uh, it's not something that you know only happens to certain people or is a. Uh, uh, it's misfortunate, but it's uh, it's part of it, though. You know what I mean? It's not a. It a, is. It's, it's a, to be expected, almost. It's a big um, part of it. And you're gonna move. You're gonna move forward, though. It happened early in the tournaments here, I think, which is good, right? You got that? Think of it as that's a got it out of the way, baby. Here we go. Yeah, it's we got it out of the way. You know what? The other thing is, too, it's like um, 
I know that feeling of close. I feel like that, you know, you just feel like you're never quite enough in life. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I'm never, I'm never going to be pro, dude. That's and, how I feel. And I'm so fucking close, but I'm you're, not. Exactly. You're so close. And for, and this is the first <laughs> time I ever started getting this stupid fucking thought. Cause like I'm in grappling and it's, it's intense and shit. I'm like, I'm losing my peak years. I'm getting old. <laughs> like I was like, yeah. I'm getting old for the first time. I feel like I'm getting old. And I was like, I'm going to be 28 this year. And it's like, it's not even that old, you know, and I'm just like losing it over here. I'm like everything. And then you start getting down on yourself about like because you can't train or something. You're like, well, I just want to fucking go go drive myself to here real quick and do something real quick. And you're like, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And then you're like every every little thing starts adding up, you know, because you're like the um the Olympics are funny like that because, yeah, it's every four years. So you only have. X amount. I mean, Paralympics, I think, oh, well, they are a little bit a longer little of a relaxed. lifespan. Yes, because compared to regular Olympics, you got like two shots. You maybe you know have, th like, you maybe have for one extra run. For certain, yeah, yeah, especially like gymnastics, you got like one or two shots. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like judo like, is one, though. There's certain sports in the Paralympics you could do till you're like 50s, you know what I mean? But yeah, like, yeah. Judo, you're ending like 35, I'd say. So you, got, you got time, but yeah, yeah there is there is that lot of pressure, but. I know, and it's like. What were you just saying about the wanting? Oh, yeah, wanting to just. I had that anxiety the other morning. I woke up. I've been waking. And my shit sleeps still all messed up. But I woke up, it was like 5.30, and it was like the weekend, so Heather's sleeping in, and I'm just like, all I wanted to do was get in my car and go to like a donut shop. Yes! I wanted to go get a coffee. Yes! You know what I mean? Yeah, I any change of scene. Do my own thing, yeah. And any change of scene. Yeah, it sucks. And like, even yeah. to, like... I want to just take my guitar and go chill at the skate shop. Like, as stupid as that sounds, like, I want to go yeah. drive myself there. It's something it to wanna, do. It made me want to be in a city, actually. I was like, man, if I, if I lived in a city, I could actually go walk around. But I know when I was in New York City, there's, like, goods and like good and bad. Like, the, you know, you had the subways. You had the, the – everything yeah. was walking. But you've got your – your pad's nice. You can no, go it cruise is. down to your – that's nice. I'm very fortunate. And then you just get wrapped up and – to where it's hard to leave the house because you're so caught up in yeah. your thoughts, and then you I'm gotta break. Drive. That. I want to be able to drive and just on my own. Ah, oh, it's like the number one thing, dude. You ever have the dreams that you're driving? No, I haven't. I, I have haven't had a driving dream in a while. Yeah. I've had driving dreams that have been scary. Like I wake up like saying, "Thank God!" Like <laughs> I, I yeah, woke it's up, it's but, but dude, I I just want to get out on that open road. I want to be able to drive. Kelly around like I want to be able to go pick right. my buddy up like I want to I want to go to the city and film my part like I want to do all these things like on my time yeah not on everyone yeah. else's time an uber not on uber's time not worrying or... about all the anxiety that goes with an uber dude it's like I I realized the other night I went to my buddy's house played poker it had a great time like such a good time and played till like one two in the morning uh -huh. Lost fifty bucks, whatever. It was <laughs> I was up a little bit, and then I was like delusional by the end, and I was like just throwing bets out there. But Four it was bets. Beside the fact, it was so fun, but didn't, I was almost didn't, didn't, didn't go run the river. I, Turn the river. Uh, no, the river helped a couple times, but uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I, it's, but, yeah. it's the last card that they oh, pull man. out. Yeah, but I um, I I almost didn't go because of my anxiety of. Oh you knew you'd well, be stuck could, there. well, because I knew they were drinking, so I was gonna have to get an Uber back, and I've never gotten an Uber back from there, and it was gonna be like late at night, and yeah. I, it's just like a lot was, and it's it just a lot went into the like, not even that it's that, in retrospect, like it's fine, it's not that big a, of right. a deal, but the but fact that you have it, to think is, of all that, and you, have, a, yeah, it, it is a a uh, a stress a stressor. You know it's I mean? the unknowns. It's uh, yeah. But the more you put yourself in the situ those situations, the easier it is. But I was so glad I went, you know. And now I know I could do it. Like I'll do yeah. it. And that made me realize I don't leave my house that much when I'm home. I do all the time. Like I travel so much, and I get out there and explore and do all these things. <laughs> but when I'm home, I stick to a lot of comforts. Yeah, I'm like either I'm traveling far. Or I'm sticking at home pretty much. Yeah. I stick to my two places. I hear my mother-in-law's or, or my mom's house. Yeah. That's really it. Skate park. Yeah. That's... 
Maybe we gotta get out more. Maybe we gotta. Yeah, but. Got it, yeah, dude. I, I think we do. We got. I, I think I. I was listening. We get out to, I, don't know. I, I was mean, listening I to out. a I, snippet on this Rogan podcast, and it was these guys talking about how when they first became friends. They were like younger and stuff, and they would watch YouTube. Uh, they was he was like as stupid as it sounds. We'd watch YouTube videos and like how to get girls or how to pick up a girl or how to like talk to someone in a weird situation or, or how to put yourself out there, whatever. And they would go uh-huh. to the mall and practice these things, like they would just yeah. like put themselves in those situations. And it's like it's that whole thing of getting like comfortable with the uncomfortable, you know? Because then. Yeah. other things in life become so much easier. Yeah, I used to be uh, really, really adamant about doing that, and I haven't been as much lately. Yeah, like, I guess for me, it's during the week when the lady's working. You know, I'm just chilling with the dog at home, and, and be- that's it. Because it's easy, too, and you're used to easy. it. Yeah. You know? And you don't even yeah. know what you would be doing otherwise because you're so used to <laughs> I know, it. I know. It's either skate. Well, I either just want to be skating, skating or fishing. Yeah. Skating, fishing, or that's it. Yeah. Hang it. Playing with the dog. Yeah. Me and the dog have been getting close, dude. We're tight. That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, Delta. A lot of dog time. Yeah. Helps. Yeah, it helps does. I, we still got no ice here, though, dude. Oh, it's going to rain next week. I don't think we're going to. Dude, we might not get ice downstate this year. I don't know. You got to give it time. Sometimes the winter hits in the freaking February or, or January. I mean, or March. yeah, usually February is the most intense here, yeah. but. A couple years ago, it was like this, and we literally didn't have ice. Last year in December, you guys had ice. I was there. Last year, we had a great yeah. ice fishing season. It was long. You had oh, snow. It was fucking beautiful. We'll see. Yeah. Um, what else? I had some. Oh, uh, the internet. I was kind of uh, laughing about this yesterday. I was thinking about how now we got like social media, all this shit's right at your fingertips. But do you remember when like. <laughs> Your friends had to tell you of a website, like, yo, go check out, like, and it would be something, like, messed up, dude, like, go check out, like, Happy Tree Friends or something, like, the thing where, there would be the thing where, like, the animals were, like, killing each other, like, two girls, one cup, like, dude, there was weird shit that would go around the internet that you, that wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, viral videos, you had to, like, go search it, and, like, you only yeah, knew bef- from people pre- telling, pretty youtube pretty yeah. pre-YouTube, it was all websites. Yeah, it was crazy. I remember it was like, all websites. Wild, like there were different people. Would I remember my friend? Like I knew people that like went on like chats and stuff. It was so like foreign. Dude, AOL Instant Messenger was so epic. Epic, S- epic. So much fun as a kid. Epic, dude. You used to be able to write it's your crazy. bio, your profile. It's funny because you could even like when texting was available. AOL was still like the way you would chat for yes. whatever reason being on the computer. Now, I guess now, yeah, now your phones pretty much are a computer, I guess. Is well, the yeah, difference. it is because AOL, the difference between AOL and texting, texting would take a minute. AOL was instant. It's instant messenger. Like it well, really was. No, text was instant. It was just on the phone. But I think it was, you could talk to multiple people. True. You know what I mean? You had like the whole list of people. And then yeah, you, could, you could have multiple see, conversations going at once, kind of all in one window. You'd have group mess chats. You'd, you'd have yeah. like you'd have the whole. Oh man, I remember it I used fun. to use you Zoom could set text. Your, you could set your uh, you could set you to like ghost mode. So if you didn't want anybody to know yes. you were online, it would it would look like you weren't online. My my thing too was uh, I was so it was so cool <clears> to me because it was all so visual. Still, I was using Zoom text. Do you remember Zoom text? Have you ever heard Zoom of text, it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would zoom in so close. So what you could do is scroll with the mouse holding down the control button, like scroll in, and it would scroll in your screen so much. And Yeah, yeah. It was so good. I remember that. I loved that. Messaging, that was great, dude. I got broken. My, one of my ex-girlfriends broke up with me over freaking no! instant message. That was rough, dude. That was hard. That was funny, dude. Oh, I'd be like, yeah, asking girls out over that. It's always weird. Oh, it's fun, dude. Yeah. It's like middle school to high school. Yeah. Chat and the door every time. And, and yeah. Had, like, you, door, you, would, you would hear a door open. Yeah. And me, oh, who signed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go over the side and look. And people and would leave. It's door crazy closed. how you'd have like more confidence on instant messenger. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You'd be like, oh, it's like man. texting. Yeah. Funny. 
I wish I could set my phone to away mode, ghost mode. Ghost. Don't bother me. Certain, bo- I guess you can do you do, do, do not, not disturb. disturb. Yeah, but other people wouldn't know. People still hit you up. Yeah, yeah. Those were the days, dude. Those were the days. I don't know. I'll take my phone over that though any day. Yeah. So, what else? Uh. Oh, oh no, I'm out. That's it. John dude. John Barron's birthday shout out. Oh yeah, shout, shout out, out to John from Denver. Barrel the Baron John. Barrel the Baron. Uh, Happy birthday. Um he had a question he wanted us to I think he wanted us to go over our board setups. Setup. Yeah. What do you use? You have a 806 SE full 8.06. What's um, SE full? You've told me before. SE full but. is it is a slightly longer board, but the wheelbase is still short. Mm. So the trucks are closer together still, but yeah. it, it but it's still Deluxe has the the full models where the just the board itself is a little bit longer as opposed to your average deck. What does that so do for you? It's just more bored and longer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, the other boards have a would have a wider wheelbase, which some people enjoy that. But I like it. Tight. Where the trucks wheels are, are close. Yeah. Trucks are closer together means you can turn sharper. Okay. Um. Oh, that but, makes uh, sense. Just it's all just preference. What feels good. Some people, you know, bigger person, wider stance. One's a little bit longer board. But um. Yeah, that's why I scale then Thunders. Um, and then I do Spitfire, the Conicles, Chronicles, whatever they're called. They're like the... Conicles. They're shaped so you can lock into like Smiths okay. and Feebles super good. Those fit right around 53 millimeter. And then Bone Swiss, baby. Mob Grip. No, I'm not. Geez, Mob Grip. Jess Up Grip. <laughs> Jess Up. Who's Mob Grip? Jess, I'm a Jess Up boy. Why'd you say G is Mob Grip? Huh? You said G is mob grip. I said G's. I didn't mean. Oh, to say oh, G, yeah. Because I, I like, ride for Jessa, but I, I know. Mob. So, um, <clears throat> and you said bones bearings, bone Swiss, baby. Yeah. Did have you ever used the Swiss ceramics? I've never had a pair of ceramics. No, I have not. They're like two hundred bucks, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. What hundred or at least a hundred? Yeah. Over I that, like, I think the one fifty probably. Are they one? Yeah, one sixty. Yeah, 160, yeah I think, I think that sounds be? right. This was like was, ten years ago. Maybe you, can, yeah. you can get there's so many. There's like, have you seen? There's like uh, six bearings. Yeah, like, five balls. Five ball. What's balls. the difference between that stuff? I don't know, man. They say it's smoother and more balls smoother, but okay. Um, um and then. What's the yeah. biggest wheel and the smallest wheel you've ever rode? Oh, I mean, when I was a kid, I you get whatever you can get. So you'd get like 56 sometimes. I mean, 58 is huge. Do you, probably 56. Do I used you, to go really, really small. I mean, 51, I could ride a 51. I ride my wheels a long time. So they'll start as a 53, sometimes 52, and they're definitely down to 50, 51 by the time I'm done with them. Maybe what, even smaller. What's the difference, Dean? I still don't understand what the difference between like i i know that a bigger wheel is riding smoother like it'll eat stuff easier but Mm -hmm. what else does it do like what's the difference between having a um the the main thing is it's just the feel getting you like you said riding over stuff a little bit easier um when you're skating transition you want to maintain your speed more you want a little bit bigger of a wheel it's going to help with that um and then you have your durometer, which is the the hardness, how soft or how, or how hard the wheel is, is another big thing. Yeah. Um, I like harder. So wheel. that's big. Yeah, harder for harder is gonna slide more. You can have a really hard wheel, so you can do like tail slides, blunt slides, power slides, all that stuff is gonna slide way easier. And then you have your soft wheels, which you can go really soft, where you're just a cruiser wheel, where it's just really quiet and soft and just pretty much not for doing tricks at all really. But, but, um, yeah, the size is just preference, man. Small wheels is just, it's going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit, um, your board's going to flip a little bit quicker, faster. I mean, just like a, a skinny board compared to a fat board. Yeah. 
A lot of street guys are using like fifty sixes and now and stuff now. I feel like or yeah, like, I could see that. It is, people ride such big boards now, dude. Yeah, what is with that? A lot of people riding like eight fives, eight seven fives. It just comes in. That's just the time, dude. It comes and goes. It used to be back in the day. It was super tiny, and then it got big for a while. Eight two five, and it got skinny again. And now it's wide. So yeah, ebbs and flows. Yeah, they used to be like yeah. nines. Some people still ride nines. A lot of people are doing the nines nowadays. Yeah. I mean, nine and a half. Some people are just out there. I feel like some people just do it just just to be different nowadays. Yeah, I ride a nine and a half. Yeah, ride a ten. Like you I will like say, that? no, I don't. I don't think you really like that. You're just doing it just to be fucking different, dude. I, I will mind. say, I ride an eight two five, and sometimes uh, I ride an eight five like on transition, and it feels comfy. Oh, it yeah. definitely oh, it feels, feels yeah, much Yeah, transition, 8.5. I used to ride it. I mean, 8.25 was what I rode for years in my prime back in uh, my L.A. days. I was 8.25. Yeah. Felt really nice. Yeah, it does. I like the... So I ride... Black like, label. I ride 8.25, like 8.38 usually. And then yeah. um, I like... I mean... I like just any popsicle, really, that I can get my hands on. I do <laughs> like real boards a lot. Um, and then... Yeah, deluxe all the way, Yeah, baby. pretty much. And then, But I like indie trucks. Indies, yeah, yeah I love an indie, too. Because the, the Thunders, for me, they I would get wheel bite too harsh. You can get the bite, yeah. Yeah, like maybe you could put risers or something, but... Yeah, you can do, yeah. Uh, the good thing about the Thunders is... They feel good, set like brand new set up, brand new. They feel great. You have, Indi sorry, indies. Indies take a bit to break in. They definitely take a minute to break in, but I've seen you switch your thunders and like hit something that you've been trying for a long time. I love thunders. Yeah, and for then, that uh, reason. Yeah, and then yeah. I, uh, I switch between Spitfire and Bones wheels. I, I like yeah. the Spitfires though. Bones are nice. I, I love that they have like a softer feel sometimes. Yes. Some of them, the ones I used to ride, but they still slide good. Yeah, the they have like an all terrain like is. park wheel kind of like. Uh, Ooh, I don't mess with that. Yeah, there's the SPF, yeah, skate park formula, and then or STF, they call them. Yeah, there's like a park formula, street formula. Yeah, yeah. the street formula is nice. Um, I ride anywhere from like fifty threes to fifty sixes. Um, 56 yeah that's big yeah I, because it depends like i usually have two boards like one for transition one more for street but then yeah. i start like hate switching between the two so uh -oh, i end up it just riding it's annoying yeah so i end up just riding one it's and, nice to have in theory and it sounds fun and it's but it's like I just want one board yeah it's true Me at least and then, I'm not like it's not like I'm skating vert. If I'm skating vert, then you need another board. Yeah. But like if I'm just skating for me, yeah, I'm just, you know mini ramp every now and then. This I'm fine. No, exactly. So yeah, but, I, but that's why yeah, you get fifty fives to be chilling right in there. You can do both. Yeah, fifty fives is perfect. And you know these streets are rugged, so fifty fives sometimes you need them. Yeah, Especially I feel safer. Like not in the Midwest, dude, when the yeah. ground is just shit. You need a, at least a 53, I think. Yeah. It goes a long way. But um, I'm always still, like, going around trying to find what my sweet spot setup is, you know? Uh-huh. It's never, it never ends. That that never changes, you know, or it always changes throughout life. And sometimes I'll pick up someone else's board and I'll be like, oh, this feels so good. Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Yeah, I haven't felt someone else board that felt good in a while, though. Yeah. I have become very, I think, more so than lately, than when I was sighted of, I want my setup. I've always been very, I guess, that way, but it feels like a little bit more nowadays. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I would have a hard time. Like, back in the day, if I broke my board, I could use someone else's board. But I have a hard time. I would have a really hard time at least doing a flip. Anything flipping my board would be really hard to use a different board. No, that makes sense because even in judo, if you don't bring the right regulation gi, you have to wear a regulation gi. And I would Ooh, feel so – even if it was brand new, I just wouldn't – it feels off. It's not my gi, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
Hmm. It is. It's about your equipment. Uh, it's important, dude. Mental. It's more mental, I think. What about yeah. like? What about like Ace and like Venture trucks? Are do those have any? Uh, Ventures are good. I've skated Ventures before. Uh, Ace, I have no idea. I've never skated a pair of Ace before. Yeah. I think there are others. I mean, nothing's better than Thunder and freaking Indy, though. And then you people like uh, Bronson. Well, Venture, uh, Ventures are good. You know, they've been around forever. Bronson bearings. Bronson. Yeah, I've never people skated like those. those. Yeah. I mean, bearings, though, it's hands down. There is no debate. Bones. No one can come near Bones. Yeah. They're just the best. Yeah. Like, there's, like, other things, boards and trucks and wheels. Like, yeah, you can get away with it, but... As opposed to there is absolutely no arguing. A pair of bone Swiss are just the best thing for skateboarding. Yeah, Can't beat it. I mean, because I've had other uh, bearings that are considered, you know, quote unquote Swiss. You know, they're made in Switzerland yeah. and to a certain degree, but they're just not. They're not. And you got to be gotta, careful because there's bone Swiss, but then there's the, the ones that aren't Swiss, right? Like there's just. So there's, bones, there's bones reds, which are the class, which is yeah. what. Most people grew up, well, I grew up skating because they're like 20 bucks and they're the best bearing you can get. Also, hands down, yeah. no debate for 20 bucks. Like those, those can last you. I mean, I've had bone, I've had just regular reds last me years. Yeah. It's just the straight up reds. But the Swiss will last me. I mean, you could fucking skate a pair of Swiss for a freaking decade, I think, if you take care of them. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Which I like to take care of. Me. I mean, I'll go like a, I literally go at least a year, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, that's not true because I'm spoiled now. So I'll go like every, um, every few months. Like I'll go all through winter right now. I'm not going to change my bearings. But oh, I want to skate. I say maybe every two, every three sets, every time I change my wheels for the third time, I'll switch my bearings. Yeah. Now we're getting into too much skate talk, I think. I want to skate so bad now. Oh, I know. It's, it's all rainy outside. Or it's not rainy. It's all wet because of fog, dude. The yeah. fog. The fog has the ground wet. The fog. <laughs> I don't I remember this doing this. It didn't rain at all. You remember, it do, you remember doing this? Do. Yeah. do I, I know the do, but not on the cement. Oh, on the cement. The cement yes. Go inside, it's all damp. I'm like, what? What is going on? That's when it's heavy. Yeah, Delta just ran around outside. She was wet. Yeah. Freaking, it's hanging out in a cloud, I guess. I don't know. Bullshit, Um. Jerry. (laughs) Jerry, actually. What else? Oh, that's it, dude. That is it. That is all. That's it. That's all. Great snowboarding video. I've been thinking about snowboarding. I want to go shrelping, dude. We got to go, dude. Um, We want to shrelp this year. I need to learn how to turn, though. You gotta learn to turn, dude. Lean. You don't turn. You lean. Just lean. Yes. A lot like skateboarding. You kind of lean. You lean on the back or the front. On your edge, dude. On your edge, Jerry. Yeah, but on the back foot or the front foot, Jerry. You're kind of over your front foot. Uh, your weight's over your front foot, and you're kind of pivoting. That's okay. You're pivoting more so over your front foot. As you go down, you're going toe heel, toe heel. Okay. Um, yeah, dude, that was. But like when you, but when you stop, it's kind of like both feet. <sighs> Snowboarding with people on the mountain becomes like human bowling for me. Yeah, you gotta. You need. Uh, we need to a rent good, a mountain. You need a really good spotter. Yeah. Not really good. You just need open. I mean, not in a freaking dome. <laughs> That's what you need. A spotter. You need open Did you know they have spotters for poker at casinos for blind people? No, they'll tell you. You cards could have a stuff? spot. I looked this up last oh, night. Oh, we gotta go. It's really interesting. You could have a person that is your spotter, aka seeing eye, a seeing guide card reader. It was called or something. Wow, seeing eye card reader, sighted guide card reader or something. Yeah, and SCCR, they CR dude. They can tell you what's on the table and what cards you have. Wow, that's nice. I know. I, wonder, I always wonder about that in Vegas. Like, I, I couldn't play. They whisper cards, to you. you yeah, but then, then wow. there were some loopholes where it said like they can say no or something. You you cannot. They can say no to giving you accommodations or something, which seemed a lot of 
be asked they can to say me no to what to like making accommodations or something. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Depends on yeah. Interesting. And then it said <laughs> also said they could ask you for a doctor's note, the hotel or like the casino. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like proof of your disability. Interesting. Oh, I can't imagine there being any kind of advantage to having. Also, what do they got to come up to it? Are they got to like whisper in your ear? You know yeah, I mean? they do. They have to whisper. They can't say it out loud. No, they have to whisper. That's what They're it said. They're right next to people. That's kind of that's kind of iffy. I know. You know what, if the guy, what if the guy's got bad breath? What if he just came from eating freaking um, eating anchovies? Ho Chi Minh or like uh, <laughs> and yeah, an anchovy pizza or like oh, uh, or like what's it called? I'm thinking of like a euro or something, dude. Some uh, what is it called? Jesus. My brain, dude. What if he just came from eating uh, uh, tiki masala? <laughs> no, what is it called? Like Mediterranean? <laughs> what the classic? Uh, like uh, the wrap, the euro oh, classic uh, chicken. Uh, chicken tiki tiki super super garlicky, dude. Tahini? No, not tahini. Garlicky. Shawarma. Oh, shawarmas. You could have seen some shawarma. You just have straight garlic bread. Oh, gosh. It's some uh, some pot. What's it called? Naan? You non? got to do a vase. You got to do a spade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> what is it? A garlic? I fold. I fold. I'm a, I fold I'm, I a vamp- I'm a vampire. You got six of diamonds. All right. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna cash out. Thank I'm going you. Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> um, wait. Ah, oh, shit. I had something, Jerry. <laughs> been, I've been watching Seinfeld, dude. Oh, we got freaking it's freaking the Dana greatest White's podcast of all wife. time. Uh, Tuesdays of Stories, dude. <laughs> got me hooked on I used to watch Seinfeld a lot growing up because my I did too, was, but I, I never really absorbed did. much. It's a little slower yeah. now nowadays. People used to well, think that's on. how you had to get famous. That's what you had to do. You had to get that or Roseanne show, like something like that. Like a uh, sitcom. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Seinfeld's still good though. Is still it? good. Message court manager, my other demon has been pushed back 30 minutes. I will send you a invite for TV for a month. 30 hours of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. 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 Whoa
Uh, promotions? No, nothing yet. Still on the house hunt. Right. Crossing my fingers. Yeah, so, yep. yeah, send them some good vibes. And, uh, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. And uh, go, go uh, what's it called? Go donate to keep pushing. Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah, there we go. There That's go. always the, the right. push. Keep and pushing, man. Subscribe, dude. Go to yes. our YouTube. Subscribe. Go, go to our YouTube. Go to Dan's it's YouTube. Free. It goes a long way. And you get free content. And go subscribe to the podcast. Listen, if you're listening, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment. Leave us a it's review. Easy. Take two minutes out of your day and subscribe. And follow Anthony, me, and Four Bad Eyes. And and you can do you it. know what? Follow Kellifer. And Kellifer, yeah, correct. That's right. Yes. And Delta Blue. Delta Blue. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a good one. One love. Keep pushing. And one love from four bad eyes.